Let's look at some second order chemical kinetics. Second order means the rate is proportional to a concentration squared or the product of two linear concentrations where you have the order is one plus one, the sum of the powers. So here are some examples. The NOBR breaking down into NO and bromine and hydrogen and iodine making hydrogen iodide. If you write down the rate laws, the rate laws for second order reactions look like this. The change in concentration over the change in time, the rate, is equal to K, the rate constant, times a concentration squared, second order. Or the rate is the product of two concentrations. So the sum of the powers, one plus one, gives you second order kinetics. If you write that rate law versus time, it looks like this. One over the A concentration is given by one over the initial concentration plus KT. So a plot of one over concentration versus time is linear. And that's how you determine if you have a second order chemical reaction. You measure concentrations versus time, then you take one over the concentration and you plot it versus time. If that's linear, then you have a second order chemical reaction. Now we can look at the half-life for second order reactions as well. The half-life goes as one over the initial concentration times the rate constant. So the initial amount, the initial concentration matters in terms of the half-life. The amount of time it takes to go from initial concentration two molar down to initial concentration one molar depends on the fact that it's two molar. That is, it's going to take longer for four molar to go to two molar than one molar down to half molar. And that tells you something about the kinetics. A second order reaction means there's some collision somewhere in there. It's dependent on the concentration squared, the interaction of the particles. It's dependent upon two concentrations, the concentration of A and B, or the concentration of hydrogen and iodine. Those have to come together. If the concentration of iodine increases, the rate increases because the number of collisions increase. More iodine there, more collisions. So the frequency of collisions is reflected in this half-life. If you have a high initial concentration, you'll have high initial concentrations and high initial collisions, and that will give you a low half-life. But if you're a dilute solution, low initial concentration, then you'll have a longer half-life. Collisions aren't as frequent. So you can see kinetics and the order of kinetic rate laws gives you some insight into the mechanism of chemical reactions.